In this video, you'll learn how to interpret parameters of linear and exponential equations in context. First, let's consider linear equations. Recall that linear equations can be written in the form y equals ax plus b. The value of a gives the rate of change in the values of y. If a is positive, the y values are increasing, and if a is negative, the y values are decreasing. The initial value can be found by substituting x equals 0 into the equation. Substituting x equals 0 into y equals ax plus b gives y equals a times 0 plus b, which simplifies as y equals b. So the value of b gives the initial value of y. Let's look at an example. The distance y in miles that Taryn is from home after x hours of driving is represented by y equals 60 minus 45 x. Select all correct statements about Taryn's distance from home. Because x represents the number of hours, 45 x represents the number of miles by which the distance from home changes in x hours. So the distance from home changes by 45 miles every hour. The coefficient of x is negative, so y values are decreasing. This means that the distance from home is decreasing by 45 miles every hour. The value x equals 0 represents the time Taryn started driving. Substituting x equals 0 into the equation y equals 60 minus 45x gives y equals 60 minus 45 times 0, so y equals 60. This means that Taryn started at a distance of 60 miles from home. So the second and fourth statements are the true statements. Now let's consider exponential equations. Recall that exponential equations can be written in the form y equals ab to the x power. The value of b gives the growth or decay factor in the values of y. If b is greater than 1, the y values are increasing, and if b is between 0 and 1, the y values are decreasing. The initial value can be found by substituting 0 in for x. Substituting 0 into y equals a b to the x power gives y equals a times b to the 0 power which simplifies as y equals a. So the value of a gives the initial value of y. Let's look at a second example. Since purchasing his car, the value of Derek's car, y, can be modeled by the equation y equals 15,000 times 0 0.85 to the x power after x years. Which of the following correctly states the value of Derek's car when he purchased it, and the way in which the value is changing. Because x represents the number of years after Derek purchased his car, 0 0.85 to the x power represents the portion of the value of Derek's car that remains after x years. Each year, 85% of the value remains, so the value of Derek's car is decreasing by 15% per year. The value x equals 0 represents the time Derek purchased his car. Substituting x equals 0 into the equation y equals 15,000 times 0 0.85 to the x power gives y equals 15,000 times 0 0.85 to the 0 power. So y equals 15,000. This means the value of Derek's car when he purchased it was $15,000. Now you know how to interpret parameters of linear and exponential equations in context. Thanks for watching.